Checklists can be used to track progress for certain conditions in tabular format enabling comparisons of the issues being monitored. Let's see how checklist looks like. Go to the patient page. After selecting a patient, click history slash examination. Checklist is available here. The gray button indicates that there is no active checklist for this patient. Click checklist. Available checklists will be listed here. When a checklist is selected, the content of the checklist will be listed as preview here. To add this checklist as an active checklist for this patient, click add. This checklist is now active, with this visit's date as the first date. If response options have been saved for this checklist, the responses can be selected from the drop-down list. The checklist can be deleted only in the visit where this checklist was created. In the subsequent visits, the checklist will be listed as active and cannot be deleted. However, this checklist can be discontinued by clicking Discontinue in the subsequent visits. Visits with active checklist will have this checklist button in red. In the subsequent visits, the visits date will be available as another column. In this example, the visits date is 7th of July 2020, so column with 7th of July 2020 is available to record the responses for this checklist. Any responses entered or edited here will be automatically saved if this visit is in edit mode. The responses recorded in the previous visits cannot be edited in this visit. Now let's see how to create a new checklist. Go to the reports page. Click checklist design. All checklists will be listed here. Let's select Engay to see the checklist. When a checklist is selected, the contents will be listed like this. Note that for checklists that have been used for patients, they cannot be edited anymore. To add a new checklist, click New. Specify the name of this checklist and click Add as New to create this checklist. Once successfully created, it will be shown like this. As long as this checklist has not been used for any patients, the name can be changed by editing and clicking edit to save, or this entire checklist can be deleted by clicking delete. The created checklist is currently empty and the items for this checklist need to be created one by one. Here, select the type for this item. The type can be one of these, whether it is free text entry, text, vital sign or investigation, 9. We will select text for this item. In this example for the type text, specify the item under label. Under default, possible responses can be provided. If provided here, this response will be provided in drop-down list that can be selected by the doctor. To provide multiple options for the doctor to select, separate the responses by forward slash, slash. In this example, normal, less and null will be three different options for the doctor to select in the patient page. If copy last respond is ticked, the respond from the previous visit will be automatically filled up in the current visit. In this example, the date of fever onset will be automatically filled on the subsequent visits based on the date saved in the first visit. Specify how frequent the responses are required under frequency. These are the available frequencies. For example, if weekly is selected and if patient has daily visits from 1st to 10th of the month, only the response field on 1st and 8th will be enabled, while disabled for the others. In this example, the response frequency for item 2 was set as every visit, so the response box is in red borders, meaning response is required. However, the response frequency for item 1 was set as monthly, so for this visit state, 15th August 20th, no response is expected as duration from the first respond, 3rd August 20th, is not one month yet. This is indicated with the response box in gray borders. Back to the checklist designer, click Add to save this item into this checklist. Once the item is successfully saved, it will be listed like this. To edit, Change accordingly and click Edit to save. To delete this item, 
clicked L. Note that checklist cannot be edited or deleted once used for patients. Let's select the type vital sign. These are the available vital signs. For the type vital sign, the selected vital sign will be automatically filled in as the response, as long the value is available, and no user entry can be done in the checklist. The default value will be disabled for the type vital sign as the value will be automatically entered from the selected vital sign in the visit. In this example, note that the respond for BP, type vital sign, has been automatically filled up as 13971. The 13971 is automatically taken from the BP specified here. Let's select the type 9. 9 is the short form for investigation. These are the available investigations. Similar to vital sign, the selected investigation will be automatically filled in as the response, as long the value is available, and no user entry can be done in the checklist. The default value will be disabled for the type 9 as the value will be automatically entered from the selected investigation in the visit. In this example, note that the respond for HCT, type 9, has been automatically filled up as 42.8. The 42.8 is automatically taken from the FBC results saved. Subsequent items for the checklist can be added in the last row. Specify the details and click Add to save the item into the checklist. All checklists will be listed here. To edit or to delete the checklist, select from this list. As long as this checklist has not been used for any patients, it can be deleted by clicking Delete, or the name can be changed by editing the name and clicking Edit to save the new name. Similarly, as long as this checklist has not been used for any patients, the items in this checklist can be edited or deleted. To edit, change accordingly and click edit to save the changes. To delete this item click Dell. If the checklist has been used for any patients, it cannot be edited or deleted, and this will be indicated with the button locked like this. Although used checklist cannot be deleted, it can be inactivated so that it will not be available for new visits. That's it, you're done.